Does Chicago Bears tight end Cole Komet deserve a contract extension? Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports. I'm back at it with another video talking some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears and talking about if their tight end Cole Komet is deserving of a contract extension. But before I do, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that big red subscribe button down below, people. It does help me out a lot. We're on the road to 25K subs. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you are following me on all my social media platforms. And as always, guys, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so let's talk about this, all right? Because Cole Komet's contract's going to be up in 2024. So we need to decide if we want to extend this guy or not. And here's the thing. With Cole Komet, at the beginning of the year, maybe like the first four or five games, if you would have asked me this question, I would have been like, heck no. I can't wait to get rid of Cole Komet and move on from him because this kid is so average. He's so basic. He doesn't do anything special. And it's his third year in the league, and I've not seen any pop. But oh boy, did the pop come. All right, And it came quick, fast, and in a hurry, Cole Komet goes from a guy who had zero, all right, zero touchdowns last year, a donut, to having five TDs last year, and we still have a couple of games left. All right, so the numbers on the year, 39 receptions for 433 receiving yards and five TDs. Now, we still have a couple of games left, and he did put up 600-plus yards last season in the second year. No touchdowns, but he did put up the yardage, and there's a chance he could still surpass that or get up to that level this year. Again, we got a few games left. And with Darnell Mooney being out for the year, there's a very good chance, it's pretty much a lot, that Cole Komet is going to finish the year as the Bears' leader in receptions and yardage. All right? And I know that's not, that seems great, but it's not that big of a deal in the sense of the Bears' passing attack wasn't all that great. And so, um, you know, the yardage numbers don't look all that. But again, it is something. It's something to keep in mind. So basically, we've gone from there was no conversation at the beginning of the year to be had all the way to we can talk about it now. Let's sit down now, Cole, and sit at the table and decide if this is worthy of having a discussion on because Cole Komet really came on um, at the, in the middle and at the back end of this season. And I believe we can have that conversation now. So here's where I'm at with Cole Komet. Tight ends in the NFL take longer to develop than other positions. For whatever reason it is, tight ends tend to break out very, very late, okay? In his third season now, Cole Komet, all right? It's his third season. We see, you know, kind of the pop, if you will. And if we project that to continue or to be the case where the growth continues, then Cole Komet should be a very solid tight end next year and the years to come. But here's the thing with me when I look at Cole and I look at whether he's deserving of a contract extension. The age. Believe it or not, he's only 23 years old. That's crazy to me. The fact that Cole Komet entered the NFL at 20. And he's 23 years old now. Again, his third season. So he's still so damn young. And why is that important? Not only because, again, you've got a guy who has not hit his prime. He's not in his prime, folks. He's before it. He is His best years are still ahead of him. But not only that, it's because it aligns with Justin Fields, the quarterback, in his potential prime. We know Justin Fields only in the second year hasn't hit his prime yet, not even close. So when Justin Fields is going to be hitting his prime, so will Cole Komet. And so that matters because you want to have guys you can develop around Fields. And that's where I believe this the biggest selling point for Cole Komet comes is that he's young, he's going to get better, and we're talking about a position that is a, a position where only a handful of teams have elite guys. If you think about it, besides the Chiefs with Travis Kelsey, what other team do you look at and say the tight end is their best player um, in the NFL? Right? You would have thought Mark Andrews, yeah, but he hasn't really had a good year. That Lamar Jackson has been in and out. Maybe you can make that argument there. George Kittle with the 49ers, though I don't think they use him much. So it's like it's very rare that we see a lot of teams where the tight end is the best receiver outside of the Chiefs. And so with Cole Komet, the expectation shouldn't be that he should be your number one receiver, but the expectation should be that, is he worthy of it? And if I'm at the table with Cole Komet and we can get 
together on a reasonable deal for Cole Komet for the next three to four seasons, probably four seasons because he'd be 27, which is still a good age. I think I'd be okay with that. Again, I wasn't okay with it before, but Cole's shown me a little bit more. He's shown me, again, he can get in the end zone and in the red zone. The touchdowns were a problem. He's kind of fixed that. And he's shown me the fact that he can be a reliable security blanket for Justin Fields. And the chemistry is there. He's built it with Justin Fields. And I think Fields likes him as well. So all of those things combined with the age and with where we are. And also, important to note, what is out there in the market, I think it's worth it to give Cole Komet a contract extension. Again, we're not breaking the bank for Komet. Absolutely not. But if it's a reasonable number, I'm totally okay with it. All right. And talking about the tight ends out there, folks, the free agent tight end market's pretty solid. It actually is. It's way better than the receiver market, which I'll talk about in another video. But we got guys like Mike Gusecki, Dalton Schultz, Evan Ingram, Austin Hooper, Robert Tunyon, Hayden Hurst. Like, these are all reliable, serviceable tight ends. I wouldn't t argue with you if you said they're all better than Cole Komet. I think the best one out of this group is probably Dalton Schultz. And he is better than Cole Komet. But are they all worth the type of money? And they'd probably be cheaper because, again, Cole Komet's younger, so he costs a little bit more. So you have to take all those factors into account. There's pros and cons here. The con is you bring in guys like this who are older, and you're not going to have them around for much. And, you know, you can't have them develop with fields versus a guy like Cole who can only get better. We don't know the ceiling with Komet. Maybe he's a guy who in his prime can put up 800 receiving yards and 8 to 10 touchdowns. That's pretty solid if you ask me. And remember, big draft capital was invested in Cole Komet. Not by this regime, the previous one. It was a second round pick, but just want to point that out. So ultimately, I do think... Cole Komet deserves a contract extension as long as it is a reasonable number. Not breaking the bank for him, but it's a, if it's a reasonable number, I think he has earned that extension with his play in the middle and second half of this year. That's where I'm at right now, folks. A couple more games left. Let's see if Cole can kind of keep building off that. But what do you guys think? Does Cole Komet deserve a contract extension? Leave a comment down below as always.